So lahat kami nangangarap kami maging regular employee, but that never happened. I have to improve my attitude. I have to keep learning. Mahirap po, pero I went out my comfort zone. And then uh, blood, sweat, and tears, just like a success story niyo, and uh, which made me where I am now. It's all because making that simple decision. Let me ask you, I'm sure you are experiencing now even beyond what you imagined, correct? Oh, see? Because once you start moving in the right direction, pataas, no? I mean, it will just go, it will propel you to greater heights. Even if it is not yet true, you think, you believe, then you act like it is true. It will come true. You know, you're already earning money. These are the perceptions of the members. So, you're afraid to go out to your comfort zone. It's from the media. You should go out uh, outside your comfort zone. So, take a lead. Good news normally are in the back pages. And if we're not wise enough, our thinking will be influenced by what we are bombarded on a daily basis. And show them the right way. Because I believe everyone's here have a winning edge. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Leader's Edge. As usual, we're here again on Wednesday, 7 p.m. We are so blessed because we have for tonight a special guest. Yes, for tonight, Cami De Leon is the Vice President of Healthway Medical. She's also a PMAP trustee and check this out. She's a wellness coach, a fitness instructor, and of course, a wellness speaker. Wow, isn't that just amazing? No, bagay na bagay kasi because it's Healthway and she is herself a, a wellness uh, cheerleader. So, Kami, uh, say hi to our guest. Hi, good evening everyone. Nice <laughs> to be here, Dino. Yeah, uh, I'm glad you could join us. Um, so, uh, tell us a little bit more about your topic uh, today as an introduction because, you know, you're, you're going to talk about relationship um, leader or, or, you know, relationship building, relationship leadership. Yes. Yes, Dino. I am excited because uh, when um, Dina told me that uh, I'm going to be your guest and yes. uh, she told me that I should talk about relationship, the first thing that came into my mind is... Uh, being the CEO, Chief Entertaining Officer. So, and that means being a cheerleader to your team. And um, the talk is all about engaging people. The talk mm -hmm. is about influencing and inspiring them by being the energy, by building very strong relationship with people. And of course, um, naturally inspiring them and getting the results to other people. Um, it will also talk about some tips, um, like I will share my personal experience, how I do things at work and at home. So hopefully our um, viewers will learn a lot. 
I'm, I'm sure they will. I'm, I'm already looking forward to it. Just the title of your slide, Meet the Cheerleader. Uh, how, how, how did this come about? I mean, wow. <laughs> um, you know, yeah. You know, Dino, um, during this time, I have um, received a lot of comments and um, suggestions na I need to talk about stress management, how to balance things, how to cope with depression. And I myself is not ano, spared. I also experience depression from time to time. I also get sad. And with all the things happening to us, diba, all the uncertainties. So I decided to choose um, this positive title, na, being a cheerleader to your team or to your family. Mm. Wow. Thank you so Looking much. Uh -oh. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Uh -oh. Yeah, so, uh, Dino, it came into my mind, talagang it pop out lang. So, continuously, so I said, singing cheerleader, it came, and I hope that more people can uh, shape their mindsets into more positive things. Wow, all right. So, um, Moving forward, uh, I love your picture here <laughs> uh, in your intro. And there are some really interesting numbers here. I wonder what these, these numbers mean. They're like 32. Hmm. There's 21 and 4. Yeah. What do they mean? Okay. Let me, let me wear my glasses because I'm using my cell phone. You know, okay. the first number is 32. Do you know, this is how I introduce myself. I don't brag about the extra education or all the achievements, but I just gave them basic numbers. So okay. 32 is, um, that's, that's 32 years of marriage oh. with the same man. So I'm so happy. I'm so Congrats. happy to tell you that I am happily married. I have a family and I'm, um, I'm blessed to have a strong marriage at, you know, 32 years and counting. Okay, wow. so the, uh, the other number is 21. I got married at the age of 21. So Ooh. that's my first stressor. Do you know, imagine getting into something, um, um, starting a family at 21, you are not financially prepared, emotionally prepared. You, you are just shocked to be in that journey, diba. So I got married at, at 21, but I'm so happy that we're going stronger um 32 years and counting i raised four kids four grown-ups now you know my eldest is 33 my youngest is 21 21 yeah and i have two grandchildren oh hindi so, it doesn't look it yeah <laughs> Actually, Dino, you know, the last number that wasn't there, uh, my executive assistant forgot to put it there. That's the more important thing. It's 26. You know what 26 is? No. no. That's my waistline. Whoa! <laughs> Congratulations. And my age is 54. So I'm always, um, I, I, I'm always um, proud to say that uh, I'm 54. While some women will deny their age, I brag about my age. I'm gonna be 55 this December. Wow. So that's how I introduce myself. And, um, you know, after saying those numbers, people are um, inspired already to be like me when they are 50. <laughs> it, it certainly is. It, it certainly is inspiring. Uh, I meet so few people who at your age are incredibly fit. Um, I myself, I'm 57, and I can still do half marathon uh, runs, you know, 21K. Uh, and I do believe, Good, as, yeah. as you surely do, that being fit is in, very important, especially during these pandemic times. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's your, I know it. That's your only weapon, immune system. <laughs> Yeah, indeed. Well, it says here that you are compassionate or that you believe in compassion. Okay. You know, Dino, um, to be a cheerleader or the chief everything officer to your team, the first okay. rule is to love them. 
Mm. You cannot coach people, you cannot mentor people that you do not love. So the first rule is to be compassionate. It should come from the heart. You know, um, we people, we work, yeah, we work for the money, but there's deeper meaning. So the first rule is to be passionate about what you're doing and most most importantly, love the people that you serve. Love the people that you work with, your clients, your colleagues, even your competitors. So you cannot uh, be effective if you are not sincere and authentic in what you're doing. So I'm putting compassion as the number one rule. And that is my mantra. Wow. It sounds to me like uh, it, it's, you're, you're saying for people to be real, to be to be uh, to be able to project that sincerity in in caring about others, right? Right, because you know that's the reason eh, why people are not cooperating. Mm. Uh, you know, people will always try to test you until such time that they are more comfortable because they know you as an authentic person. That's the time they follow you. That's the time they listen to you. I'm sure you experienced this in the past, diba? Lalo na when you suddenly comes in, diba? People will question, bakit siya? Bakit si Carmi? And you know, minsan mahirap din maging maganda, diba Dino? Akala nila maganda lang ako. So, so that's the first thing. Bakit ganon? So, yeah. Sa akin, the best way is to show them that you care and during the most important or crucial times that they need help, you will be there. And um, it's so hard to do if you don't love what you're doing and if you don't care for the people that you serve. You know, Karki, I was just uh, really curious because I'm, I'm boggled by, by the, the, the idea of uh, you, you showing so much compassion and sincerity. Like, how do you balance, uh, say professionalism with uh, you know being friends with your colleagues okay I hope my internet is still fine you know because I can hardly um, get the full message but I understand it's about balancing professionalism yes. and being close to the people because I mentioned love diba? Um, well that's true um, there's there must be a psychological distance um, you you should both know that okay outside the office we're friends but in the office this is my rule if i'm your boss i want you to tell me everything i want you to share with me the real scenario so it's about communication and then leading by example because um some people they they, they know me na ah, pag nagalit si miss carmi mama yeah okay na yan pag, pag nag-explain ako so it's nothing personal at the end of the office hours, it's more personal. So parang, um, it happens slowly eh, na you will be close to the people. You know, this is my technique. Uh, I will say, kamusta? How are you? How's your husband? So, and then they will tell me, naku ma'am, nag-away kami. And then I will be partly a coach to the person. Bakit naman? Ano naman? So, it's like being more involved, even in, at some point, personal. But the, um, but the objective is also to help the person. So that person will now imbibe na, oh, okay, strict sa work, pero after that naman, we're friends. So number one is set very clear guidelines and rules. Like, sasabihin ko, I want, I want you to always answer the phone kapag kinatawagan kita. If you cannot answer, text back, or at least within an hour, I want you to submit a report at this time. So, very clear communication. And then, syempre, ako, I also do some personal stuff for them. Aside from listening, I miss, uh, minsan, I cook for them. Sasabihin ko, meron akong ginawang soup, you want to taste it, di ba? So, that's going the extra mile talaga. So, but you balance it by constant communication, di no? So, and these people talaga, we are emotional people, eh, di ba? So, we respond to things. So, and then they will see na, okay, nagalit sa akin kasi mali naman ako. Then they will be more open to criticism. Uh, it sounds to me like, uh, Consistency is also one of your greatest virtues because people can predict how how you will behave as long as they stay within the boundaries. So that's wonderful. Um, right. You have to be consistent, diba? Mm. Oh, I, I really like the pictures that you have <laughs> on your on your slide deck. <laughs> this one says, healthy. okay, okay, healthy, yeah. 
be part of their personal and career growth. Hmm. Yeah. You know, uh -oh. this picture is, um, well, healthy kasi healthy yung dalawang katabi ko eh. Healthy. <laughs> but uh, these are my managers and I'm so proud of them. Uh, I will really, uh, no, I, I will always um, think of the good times that we have. Kasi, um, eto, this is before the party. So, alam mo, habang nag, nag nasa salon kami, nagpa-party kami, we still work. So, magaling kaming multitasker eh. So, healthy means, physically, you know that you are capable of working, working hard and smart. All right. And emotionally, you can always understand, you know, these leaders, they have very young um, subordinates, di ba? Sometimes, when they are becoming impatient na, I'll talk to them. Sasabihin ko, we have to be the healthier one. We have to be the more, the better one, the more understanding. So, and we have to be the first to reach out to our people. You know, leaders are not supposed to just sit down and say yes or no to the proposals. Leaders are supposed to be the guide. Dapat guardian angel ka, di ba? So, um, healthy means because these people, whenever I talk to them, whenever I um, sort of correct them, they're always open to correction, always willing to improve. So, for leaders to be effective, dapat we're always healthy in mind and in body. And we're always ready to improve. Kung may sinasabi sa ating we need to improve, we should be able to accept um, and understand that we are not perfect and there are things that we can improve every day. You know, Carmi, that, that uh, encourages me to ask a question about um, is your leadership style the same at home and at work? Uh, could you help us understand a little bit? Yeah. Do you know, at some point, kasi syempre, pag anak mo, unlimited yung patience mo, di ba? In terms of caring for them and guiding them, yes, pareho. Pero sa anak and worker, sa worker kasi results-oriented tayo, di ba? So, yes. you agree. At some point, you consistently review the performance and you agree na pag hindi to nagawa, what, what you think will happen, what we commit after this. So, merong timeline. You know, sa home, I am very empowering them. Hindi ako yung tipong mom na dapat gawin mo to, gawin mo to. Hindi naman sinusunod kahit sabihin mo, di ba? So, hindi ko na lang sinasabi. Papangit lang ako. So, I am very empowering and trusting. Pero kasi, mas merong timeline and mas strict ng koonte sa work in terms of results. Sa family kasi, you have to be there all the time to hear them out and understand. Unlimited yon Because that's your role as, as a mom, ha? Um, that's my role. Pero sa akin naman, sa office naman, there are times na I will tell, I think this is no longer working for both of us. Because I know that you have a talent, but it seems like there's no fit anymore. Because I want you to be happy outside. Baka mas maganda. We, we, we can just... Um, finalized this. So, mayroon lang boundary or may timeline lang. But the rest, almost the same. I'm very trusting and I allow them to make mistakes. I encourage them to be very open. Kasi that's the secret naman eh, di ba? Laging open yung communication. Kung nagtatampo ka ba sa akin, kasi nagalit ako, pareho kong sinasabi yun, I'm so open. I'm so open to, you know, Dina, one time, my uh, daughter told me, Mommy, Pag pupunta naman tayo ng ATC, kasi that's, my, that, that's our mall. Pupunta naman tayo ng ATC, huwag mo lamang kami i-recite ng seven habits of highly effective people mula bakay hanggang mall. Tapos, yeah. kasi sana naman, iba na lang. So, buhat nung sinabi sa akin yon hindi na ako nagle-lecture. <laughs> so, I'm very open kasi I know naman that we all improve by feed, through, ano, through feedback of other people and we should be open to that. Wonderful. So, moving forward, um, it says here that you also like to empower, you know, allow people to explore, make mistakes. Um, yeah. You know, do you know, I don't want people who will just say yes to me. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, kawawa naman ako, I will be thinking all the time, di ba? Dapat, yung creativity will also come from the people who are in the field, from the other people who talk to other people. So, um, it's okay, it's okay to make mistakes. Kasi sometimes, 
pag walang confidence, they will just follow you. Hindi sila mag-experiment. Hindi sila magta-try. So, I always tell them, come on, sige, kontrahin nyo ako. Is this correct? I will normally give them a plan, but I will also ask them, will this work? Do you Them. And you know what? If they make mistakes, I will be part of that mistake. I will be the first to say, oo, sinuportahan ko yan, mali kami. Akala ko, akala ko, ano, tama. So, it's very important, ha, na people will be more creative at work. They don't, we don't hire people just because we need people to follow us. But we need people to work with us and have synergy with us. Wow. Uh, it, it seems like there is some real uh, effort to balance work and life in the office. So moving forward, um, it also says here, E for experiment, dare to explore, try innovative solutions, and be prepared to miss and win together. Interesting. Similarly, diba, when you empower people, you allow them to experiment. Ito na yung actual application of the idea. So, um, this is a very good story, Dino. I, I know you will be excited to hear. Um, Check-ups kasi is the main business of Healthway. So, yes. um, and during that time, my sales is low. So, sabi ko, why are the check-ups not selling? And then I I research I interviewed some people and they said, ah, uh, I ako I go to the hospital for checkup. Sabi ko why? Because I want the overnight. I want to rest overnight in a hospital. So, sabi ko gusto niya magrest sa hospital. May airborne infection. So what I did, gumawa ako ng checkup na merong overnight stay sa hotel. So, um. <laughs> We experimented, we experimented, and then chauffeured service pa yun, kompleto. From clinic, dadali na yun sa overnight stay. And then, eventually, um, nag-evolve na yung product, same principle, pero we just give the GC for hotel, and you go to your overnight stay pampering at your own pace. And the GC is valid for one year. So, Experimenting, um, you know, ended into something like multi-million revenue. So, uh, it's important that we are more creative and more daring to um, introduce innovative solutions. Wonderful. That sounds like a, a really great way to help solve uh, people's needs. Itong health check na to is one of the best products of Healthway Medical. And I'm so proud of people by hearing them out. And then you have another E for enrichment. Hmm, interesting. Okay. You know, um, enriching means um, learning from your own people and learning from the other people outside your industry, outside your comfort zone. So, as you can see here, I'm part of the MAP, that's the CEO organization. I'm also part of PMAP, the People Management Association of the Philippines. And I have been with PMAP and MAP for more than 10 years. Woo. So, I established connections, I established my network, and I learned a lot by joining these groups. And mm. ito yung mas interesting. Um, I got my certification from Melcoa, that's Wellness Council of America, and that is for corporate wellness. Because I've been working with the HRs and CEOs, so I should be able to give them more value. I had that extra uh, uh, ano, product education to help out my clients. Uh, in marketing, I also go there, of course. And um, Asia CEO, it's a very popular event. I'm part of that. I help them. I, I, I um, offer my talent as a moderator, as a speaker. And at the Pinaka recent found it's full of squatting and striking and it gives you talaga sobrang energy and um, parang rock star ka talaga dito, Dino. We should do this. So, eto ngayon, nandun ako ngayon sa group ng mga fitness instructors and it's so interesting if you merge with other people and other class, um, you 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 tend to understand better kung ano yung life at saka ano yung difference nyo. You, you tend to inject your own set of talents to them tapos ikaw din you learn from them. So, uh, enriching means 
outside of your comfort zone, try new things, and seeing it for yourself. It's fun. So, as a leader, dapat ganun din tayo. Kasi, dito mo nakukuha yung energy mo eh, that you will pass on to your people. I see. So, um, uh, as far as being able to measure yourself with others in the industry and around the world, it seems like you have more than met their met their expectations. Uh, quite an achievement. <laughs> yeah. Um, eto ngayon, it's similar to succession planning, di ba? The test right. of a good leader is, you know, you look at their people. Diba? If you have very good people, that means you're a good leader. You're able to hold the talents. You're, you, you're able to um, gain their commitments. And especially if you're transforming people. So, I want to replicate myself. So, sabi nila, mama hira, multitasking tayo, nagsusumba ka pa, nagpapaon ka pa, nagbebelly dancing ka pa, nagpapaon ka pa. So, I'm not saying that you follow all the activities kasi it's just too many. I write, I have written a book, I... I uh, paint, I cook. So I'm not saying that they follow this, but the the value of enjoying life day to day, the value of living in the moment, that's more important. So I want people to follow me in terms of loving life, in terms of being the energy, in terms of um, being generous sa pagbibigay ng ng time and talent and um, the learnings. You know, some leaders kasi, Naririnig ko to before, I don't know kung may ganito pa rin tao din, no? They will say, ayaw kong ituro lahat kasi baka mas maging magaling pa siya sa akin. <laughs> baka ma-promote siya, mawala ako. Sa akin, you know, my first mantra, kung sino man ang boss ko, I want my boss to be very good. So, I will, I don't want to be a headache to my boss ever. So, ganun ang gagawin ko. Kaila- so, ano yung kailangan niya? I want to make him successful. Yung tao ko din, ganun din. I want to be, I don't want to be a stressor to my own team. I want to be the light. And I want we don't have to uh, um, go the same path where there will be more mistakes. So, mas gusto ko to share everything to them. And someday, they will be like me honing other talents. Cheerleading for other people. Indeed. Uh, that's in resonance with what I also believe in that um, we shouldn't be afraid if, if people under us become better than us because the only way we can be promoted is if we can be replaced. <laughs> so it's, it's to our advantage to really pass on our skills yeah, to others. Actually, can replace my right. Yeah. So... Uh, that's right <laughs> yeah and you're talking also about your beautiful connections yeah I have some ano lang, pictures lang to share uh, my okay. beautiful connections syempre number one si God you know um, it's important you know that a leader should have very high IQ. Siyempre, kailangan IQ, common sense. Pero kailangan mo mas madawa haba healthy, emotional bank account with your people. Kailangan mo rin mataas ang IQ mo, adversity quotient. Para din, work yeah. on tayo. Pero mas mm-hmm. actual quotient. So, we get, we get, yeah, yun ang number one connection ko. But I will share with you other connections. Sample lang ko ng mga connections ko. Next slide, please. Okay. There. Um, the first picture to your left is your mom. <laughs> you know, idol ko yan. Idol ko siya kasi she will walk. You notice her with the hat and she will walk confidently. You know, importante. Whatever your style is, you know, you don't need to copy any leadership style. You just have to be you. Ako, yeah. pag nag-speak ako or if I lead my team, kumakarity ako, kumakarity ako talaga eh. But, <laughs> but I have my own value. So, yes. number one, you have to be you. You have to be you. So, I can see that to Miss Dina, living the, uh, the <laughs> life and um, stay gorgeous all throughout. Tapos sabihin niya pa sa akin, Harini, alam mo kung ilang age na ako. Sinasabi niya yun. So, sabi ko, nako, I want to be like you. So, <laughs> yes. And then, 
The picture ng ating The Middle is my friend Rebecca. A lot of people uh, know her kasi she's um, tagged as made to me. Um, her story is very inspiring and uh, she's very down to earth. She's like a sister to me. So, pag sinabi ko ang sister, wala akong benta, wala akong revenue. I need to know those people. Without a question, she'll help me. So, ito yung best story din ng psychological distance, professional and personal relationship. And the story kasi of Rebecca is really, uh, ano eh, parang motivating, lalo na pag alam mong you, you came from this family, akala mo wala kang pag-asa. No, you can be someone, someone like, like her. Um, ang limit dito, imagination mo at saka drive mo lang and passion. So, I really have her as my beautiful connections. And ito, si Kathy, dun sa right, um, I told you about health check story. Uh, it wouldn't happen kasi kung wala siya. So, Kathy is also a friend and a sister and a partner, road into one. So, we always talk about how to get more people into wellness. Ever since, you know, Dino, when I got Healthway um, sales position 16 years ago, I thought of talking to the entire population already. Hindi lang waiting for the sick people to go to Healthway. Naisip ko agad, this is health. So, this is for everyone. So, I have different segments of the market, pero I want them to be well. So, that is my partner in terms of promoting wellness. And we go to different institutions, organizations to propagate wellness. So, yun lang yung sample. Um, it's important that we associate ourselves with good people, people who are driven, people who are selfless, and people who are willing to give themselves to others. All right. So, uh, also, it says here about going beyond work, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We should stop counting, you know, Monday to Friday or um, 8 to 5. While mm-hmm. I encourage work-life balance, you know what, Dino, before, sasabihin ko sa team ko, or 5 o'clock na, go home, let's go, let's go. <laughs> yeah, well, because we, we're able to finish naman the work. Pero ngayon, um, health we has been very busy with the rapid testing, PCR testing, wellness education. It's okay to go beyond five o'clock. Kasi they, they need yung company, they need yung community that we serve. But um, the, 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 ano, the more important um, reminder to everyone is that don't count the work. Don't count the hours. Just be, be more... Um, Di ba kasi minsan, eto lang ang sweldo ko, eto yung trabaho ko. No, you don't match it. You cannot, you cannot compare. Kasi, itisiraan ka ng pino. And you don't compare your salary with other people. All you have to do is embrace the job that's given to you and uh, enjoy it because you have a job to do. Sinasabi ko sa team ko, um, we're so, we're so blessed to be in this kind of business where we promote good health. We provide health to everyone. Um, at least maganda yung product ko, di ba? Kasi pag healthy ka, maganda ka rin Pag maganda ka, maganda yung aura mo, mabait ka din. So, we are so blessed to be in this business. So, don't count hours and go the extra mile. Pag hindi ng boss mo, isang report lang, gumawa ka ng mas magandang analysis. Isunod mo yung next na report na gusto mo i-share sa kanya. Pag hinignan ka ng isang presentation, samahan mo ng dance number. Pwede ba yun? So, um, just be more, ano eh, more, I think, tawag doon selfless. Hindi yes. ka inisip ang sarili mo, but you're giving your talent hmm. to the team and to the whole organization and to the community. Yeah. It also sounds like uh, it makes work a little bit more fun as well. Uh, people are allowed to innovate to demonstrate their talents, their abilities. Wonderful. Yeah. Di ba, hindi sila pwede maging bored. Di ba? <laughs> Dapat lagi silang fired up. Dapat sinig-ignite mm-hmm. sila. That's right. And then, uh, oh, always fun-filled. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know, may story ako dito. One time, we were meeting. 
pag sales meeting, alam mo, iba na itsura ng mga tao. When they enter into the boardroom, nakita ko na yung face nila may may natatakot, may gusto na umuwi, may gusto magkasakit. Because I'm gonna ask them questions. And okay. pag ako kasi yung nag-question, Dino, parang kailangan sagutin mo. At wala akong, I don't take no for an answer. I keep on talking. <laughs> so, nung nakita ko yung mga mukha nila, sabi ko, okay, tumayo kayo, magkitiktok tayo. And then, mga ano po yun? Tiktok. Tiktok tayo, video dance. And then, <laughs> so parang to the middle of high stress or uh, high pressure na time or uh, the team is really into something na a cheerleader must be able to uh, dapat sensitive dapat sensitive tayo doon sa feeling ng bawat isa kaya nasa stress na itong taong to nakakasakit na lagi matas na yung BP dapat tayo we can reach out to them and uh, we should always balance eh. so dapat fun is always an element it's part of work You know, Dino, pag nag-meeting kami, um, naka-costume kami. Uh, kunyari, ang team natin ngayon ay gala, naka-gown. Ang team natin next month is superhero. So, naka-wonder woman ako, gano'n. So, that's how you make them excited to go to the office for a meeting. And then, I change the programs from time to time. And, i-insert mo na lang dun yung updates nila, sales audit. Kasi kung hindi, kawawa naman itong mga taong to, di ba? They are also human and they they feel stressed if they don't feel better. And the rest, the least that you can do is to uplift them and to uh, make them feel that you're part of the team. It sounds to me like you have somehow found a way to uh, manage uh, stress through different styles and techniques of stress management. <laughs> Amazing. Yes. Uh, So, uh, you're also a service leader. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maniniwala ako, Dino, that leadership is um, being a servant. If the moment you accept, when I was a medical rep, you know, Dino, counting trivia, I worked as a medical rep. Um, that's my first full-time job. Kasi nga, di ba, una kong career is motherhood. So, yes. when... When I gave birth to my second kid, after mga third birthday niya, I started to work as a med rep. So, um, I, I really love the job because it's very empowering. I talk to the doctor, I hit my quota. When I became a manager, a sales manager, dun ko nakita, hindi pala to about selling. Being a manager pala is um, inspiring people to get the results, to give you something that you're expecting them to do. So, doon ko nakita na kailangan ako yung maunang mahirapan bago sila. So, um, it's important that we understand kung bakit tayo nasa position. It's about to serve. Hindi yung mentality that boss are served by the people. No. The leader is supposed to serve. Um, until such time na ma-realize mo yan, mahirap maging effective if you feel na you will be served by people. ba diba? But, A leader is always there as backup, as a guide, wisdom. It's important na naintindihan mo na ito ay inanoint ka ni God. You're anointed. Di ba? Connected ka with these people. It's not about work, but it's about growing them as people, as better people. That's wonderful. Uh, it, it certainly makes it sound as though uh, people would walk through fire for you because they're not being pushed but they're being led so you lead the way uh, if you ask them to do something difficult it's not something that you haven't tried yourself so that that really maximizes your credibility as a, a servant leader that's true at saka mas powerful dino it's more powerful if they know that you have been into that situation already like If people are, if sales people will tell me that it's so hard to get a contract, of course I understand because I myself took time to know these people and to understand the business. So when the pe- your people will become more comfortable, uh, more open, more creative because they know that you have the same wavelengths. Wow. All right. And then uh, you also talk about being a strategic partner. Right. Kasi di ba, Dino? Kapag hindi na alam ng tao mo yung gagawin, 
Tapos hindi rin alam ng leader, ba't ka pa naging leader? Diba? So, <laughs> dapat marami tayong backup plan. So, you know, I look at other industries, I read a lot, I talk to people, I probe a lot, so that I can, I, I, I don't, I cannot afford to run out of strategic ideas and initiatives. And this is what energizes the team, eh. If you throw them ideas, suddenly the job becomes more exciting. So, you have to be strategic. Meaning, if one thing is not working, you must ask five whys. Bakit? Bakit ganito? So, until such time that you come up with some solutions or things to explore, so, you have to be more strategic than your people. While I encourage my people to be strategic, I have to be well-equipped. I have to educate myself from time to time and then, or continuously, so that I can bring in more value to my team. So, you get it from passion, eh. You just, you know what, in the internet, you'll see a lot of things. You just Google it, everything is there. So, tamad ka na lang talaga pag hindi ka natuto. Diba? If you don't change the old school mo, dapat you continuously, ano, evolve and innovate yes. and better versions. Mm. Amazing. Uh, and finally, you are the source of energy for your team, I guess, as a, as a cheerleader. Alam mo, Dino, I'll tell you something. Um, sa team namin, pag may new member, mag-introduce ng sarili. Okay, I am Carmi De Leon, I am married, blah, blah. And then we will all shout, talent, talent. <laughs> so, it's like, show your talent. Yeah. And it's fun. May naging tradition na yun. And I remember, yung mga managers ko and some of the officers I interviewed, I asked them for a talent. So, after a very formal interview, so what's your talent? And then they will say, Ma'am, ano po yun? Talent. Do you sing? Do you dance? Do you cook? Do you bike? Or, uh, Ma'am, sing, sing, ano po, singing. Okay, can you, can you give me a sample of your talent? Uh, Ma'am, dito po? Yes! <laughs> and then, and they see, you know what, my interpretation, if you like the job bad enough, you will do that. If you are confident enough, you will do that. So yeah. after, yeah. after rendering the talent, explain to sa kanila, you know what, you're getting the job. And alam mo kung ba't kita pinakanta or pinasayaw? I want to test how badly you need the job and how confident you are with yourself. And yes. besides, pag siya siya marketing ka, pag may activity ka, na wala ng host, na wala ng dancer, na wala ng singer, ayan, na meron ako. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Sa akin kasi, people that are outgoing, people that are more expressive or efficient, in terms yes. of communicating with other people and getting the things done. And it's also an outward manifestation of their ability to handle stress, to be able to perform on the spot just like that so that, that's a wonderful thing that you're doing <laughs> oh you have a quote from uh, robert kiyosaki yeah so sometimes kasi people are so afraid diba tayo inherent sa atin yung we fear the future we fear the unknown and the uncertain to the point that we miss the fun we miss yes. the excitement <laughs> Sometimes there's nothing wrong with trying. Eh di pag nag-fail, eh di hindi. At least na-try mo, di ba? So, I always tell my people, experiment. Try it. Baka dyan mo. That's where you learn. That's how you learn, di ba? By trying. So, fear not. So, ang fear daw, ang, ang, there has to be courage. Um, Courage doesn't mean wala kang fear. The fear is too little, but the excitement is too big. That's um, right. Hoping that things, that better things are about to happen. So, dapat, we are always ready. We are always ready for bigger things ahead. Hmm. All right. So, uh, that's our show for tonight. We've heard some incredible words of wisdom from <laughs> Carmi De Leon. Um, what a privilege it's been for me to have had her as a guest on our show tonight on the leadership edge. Uh, Carmi, before we end our show tonight, are there any parting words you'd like to share uh, to our audience, especially those maybe who are uh, enthused or inspired by your, by your story? 
Okay, thank you, Dino. Uh, first, um, thank you so much for having me. I'm so honored to be here. And uh, to the viewers, uh, congratulations because you took the first step to learning and enjoying life. Uh, and that is by listening to other people's stories and by adapting techniques and um, practical tips. So I just hope that everyone will stay um, healthy. Um, be responsible um, and make sure that we are not carriers of virus. So, um, bye, my friends are there. So, make sure <laughs> lang that you follow the protocols as you take care of your health. So, how do you take care of your health? Eat healthy food. I call it the no seed lifestyle. I promote it wherever I go. Sleep, eat right, exercise, de stress. Enough for you to be healthy. And then, if you can avoid going out, uh, please stay home and be productive at home. Meditate a lot, reflect on your blessings, and thank God. So, yun lang. I became carny right now, not just because I'm talented and I'm beautiful, but because there is a God. God that's giving us abundant blessings. It's up to us to get, to pray for it, and to receive. So, again, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Uh, we can certainly see that Carmi is bringing sunshine to Tagaytay, even if the weather is uh, <laughs> dark <laughs> and rainy and gloomy. Um, uh, it's, it's almost uh, a, a refreshing ray of, of wisdom and of, of experience coming from Carmi. So to all of our viewers, once more, on behalf of Carmi, and my co-host, Rock Leo, we thank you for joining us uh, tonight. Hope to see you again next time uh, when we invite Nelson D, who will talk some more about leadership. So until next Wednesday, 7 p.m., on behalf of Carmen, we'll say goodbye for now. Bye-bye.